we're going to return to an example from early in the course, the hailstone sequence. But this time, we'll encode that sequence in a tree. So let's remember the hailstone sequence. You pick some positive integer n as the start. If n is even, divide it by 2. If n is odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1. Continue this process until n is 1. So 5 goes to 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16. Goes to 8, goes to 4, goes to 2, goes to 1. And we're done. A hailstone tree encodes this sequence starting at the end. What are all the ways to reach 1? Well, you reach it from 2. How do you reach 2? From 4. How do you reach 4? From 8. How do you reach 8? From 16. And 32 and 64 and 128. But actually, there's another way to reach 16. You can reach it from 5. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So the tree encodes all the different ways of reaching some number from some other number. Now what about 5? You can reach it from 10, which you can reach from 20. But there's another way to reach 10, and that's from 3. Have we left anything out? The answer is yes. 64 can be made by taking 21 times 3 is 63 plus 1. So this is what we call a hailstone tree. And if you look at the leaves of this tree, those are all the possible n that start a length 8 hailstone sequence. We can start from 128, 21, 20, or 3. And we can see the hailstone sequence that's created from each of these leaves. So let's say we get this question, write hailstone tree, which takes in k, the length, and n, the number at the root and returns a tree in which the paths from the leaves to the root are all possible hailstone sequences of length k that end in n, whereas default, the ending value is 1. You're welcome to try to solve this problem on your own, and then we'll go through it together. So I've created a file with the linked list class, but also the tree class and the binary tree class. We're going to focus on using the tree class at the moment. Then we'll look at binary trees in a minute. I've also included the list processing functions from earlier in the semester, which included apply to all, which takes a sequence and a map function and applies that map function to each element, returning a list, keep it, and reduce. Reduce was the one that combined all of the elements of a list into a single value. Reducing using multiplication, the list 248 computes 1 times 2 times 4 times 8 is 64. OK, just to get us started, let's implement the hailstone function from homework 1. Print a hailstone sequence and return its length. Well, in order to print the hailstone sequence, you have to print the current n, and then you have to print the rest of the hailstone sequence. Unless, of course, we've already reached the end. So if n equals 1, we don't need to print anything else. We just need to return the length which is 1. Otherwise, it might be the case that n is odd. I defined is odd down here. If n is odd, then we should return one length more than the length of the hailstone sequence. That starts with 3 times n plus 1. And finally, if n is even, then we return 1 plus the hailstone sequence of dividing n by 2. We know n is even, so we can use floor division in order to divide by 2 and get an integer as a result. So we can try this out, compute the hailstone sequence starting at 10, and it's 10, 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, and the length is 7. Next, we define the hailstone tree, which is a tree in which the paths are hailstone sequences, just like the one that we saw. And the hailstone tree, for all sequences of length 6, starts with 1 at the root, and at the leaves, we see 5 and 32. Here's a structure to fill in. If the length of the hailstone tree is just 1, then we can return a tree containing n at the root. Otherwise, we need to con consider the two alternatives. 
we could have reached this point from 2n or from n minus 1 divided by 3. These are the two inverses of the steps that you take in the hailstone sequence to go forward. This time we're computing it backwards. There's always some number that's twice as big as n and even. So one of the branches is always going to be a hailstone tree of length one less than the length that we have already and ends with above, 2 times n. Now there might be another branch. There's another branch if this number here, the one that comes from below, is bigger than 1, because if we reached 1, then we're done, and is an integer. So we can only move from integer to integer, and it has to be odd, because only odd numbers get tripled and then we add 1. If all that's the case, then we have a second branch. That second branch is a hailstone tree of length minus 1 that ends with below. And then we return a tree with those branches. OK, let's see what we've got. A hailstone tree of length 1 is just 1. Of 2 goes from 2 to 1. And of length 6 is the structure that I talked about. Oh, here's one issue is that we don't have an integer there. But we can fix that very quickly just by calling int on below. Now the hailstone tree of 6 has as its leaves 32 and 5. What if somebody asked me what are all the leaves of a tree? Well, we could implement that as well. So here's another function that's returned the leaves of a tree. And the leaves of a hailstone tree of length 7 should be 64 and 10. And 8 should be 128 and 21 and 20 and 3. All of the hailstone sequences that have length 12 start with these values. So how do we return the leaves of a tree? Well, if not tree dot branches, that means we have a leaf. And so we return a list containing tree dot entry. That lists all the leaves in a tree that is just a leaf. Otherwise, we need to get all of the leaves of all of the branches by recursively calling some function on each branch in tree.branches. So apply to all takes some sequence and applies a function to each element. What's the function that computes all the leaves of a branch? Well, it's just a recursive call to leaves. We already have a function that computes the leaves of a tree, and each branch is a tree. Now we have a list of all of the leaves in each branch, but how do we combine those all into a single list? Well, it's possible to combine values into a list using addition. And it's also the case that you can do it using the add function, which is just a function that performs addition. Okay. How do we express that idea using the reduce function? Well, we say we're going to combine these branch leaves with add. The branch leaves is the sequence of things to combine. And we need a starting value that we can add at the very beginning. And that's an empty list. Because if I add to this the empty list, then I get the same answer. Okay, with this new implementation, it should be the case that if I ask for the leaves of a hailstone tree with length 12, I get all of these numbers. And if we try one out, we can find that the hailstone sequence of 52 goes from 52 to 26 to 13 to 40 to 20 to 10 to 5 to 16 to 8 to 4 to 2 to 1, which has length 12. And if we want a really long sequence of length 25, we have all of these options to choose from. 